Dear students, yesterday Harry Smith has asked me one question related to function of class 10. And the question is like this. Two functions are fx equals to 5x plus uh, 2x plus 5 upon 8 and gx equal to 3x minus 4. If f of g inverse x is an identity function, find the value of x. Okay. I think he might have not known about this identity function. That's why he couldn't do. So I will explain this one here. Here, fx is equals to 2x plus 5 divided by 8 and gx equals to 3x minus 4. It is given to us. Now we need to find our f of gx first of all. Okay. Find the composite of f and gx. Okay. So f of gx. This is equals to f as it is put the value of gx. gx is 3x minus 4. Like this. Now f 3x minus 4 this value we need to put in f. So here we need to put okay. This in composite function you have already learned. So 3x minus 4 if you put here 2 bracket in place of x we need to replace by 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4 and then plus 5 divided by 8. So this is equals to 2 3 is 6x minus 2 4 is 8 plus 5 divided by 8. So this is equals to 6x, 8 minus 5 is minus 3 and then upon 8. We got f of gx we got. But we need to find f of g inverse x. So let let f of gx equals to y. Okay. So what we will get here y equals to y equals to 6x minus 3 upon 8. Now to find the inverse we need to interchange the element. Okay. So interchanging interchanging the role of role of x and y. If we interchange the role of x and y, what will happen? In place of x we need to find write y and in place of y we need write x to find the inverse like this. Okay. So x will come here, x equals to 6y minus 3 divided by 8. Now, if you find the value of y, that will be inverse. Okay. So, let us cross one of this one, 8x. 8x equals to 6y minus 3. Minus 3 also transpose this side or 8x plus 3 equal to 6y. Okay. 6y bring this side and 3 this side or 8x, sorry, uh, 8x plus 3y divided by 6 equals to y. So, therefore, f of g inverse x like this is equals to, we got this one, 8x plus 3y divided by 6 we got. Okay. Now, in the question it is given there, f of z inverse x look at it f of z inverse x is an identity function and now identity function means like this look at here if a function if a function f x is equals to x or if there is g y then this is equals to y okay p x is equal to x look at it this is the element of domain this is the element of range Element of domain and element is same. That is pre image and image same. See pre image, image same. Pre image, image same. If pre image and image of a function is same, then it is identity function like this. Look at it. So f x equal to x, this is identity function. F y equal to y, identity function. P x equal to x, identity function. Okay. Then if you have got g a equals to a, this is also identity function. So here, since this right over here. Since f of g inverse x is an identity function, identity function, what will happen here? 8x plus 3y divided by 6 is equal to x. Okay. 
So now cross multiply 8x plus 3y, sorry, not 3y. 8x plus 3 only, how y is coming here? Okay, 8x plus 3 only, yeah? y I am writing. Sorry, 8x plus 3 by 6, 8x plus 3 by 6, okay? 8x plus 3 by 6 equals to x. Uh, 8x plus 3 equals to, if you transpose this 6, this side, it will be 6x. Okay, now 6x we can bring this side. 8x minus 6x equals to minus 3. So this is 2x equals to minus 3. Therefore, x equals to minus 3 by 2 we got. Hence, the value of x is minus 3 by 2. Okay, this is our answer. Okay, thank you for watching this video.